My name's Philip Hagen. I'm an electrical engineer. I'm Mackenzie Walkwist and I'm a biological engineer. I'm Dylan Patrick, biological engineer. I'm Courtney Wonky and I'm a mechanical engineering major. Hi, we are the Mean Clean Water Machine. We are a senior design team working on an automated biochar injection system. Behind me is the clean water machine that we are working with. Uh, the purpose of the clean water machine kind of has two functions. The first is to treat wastewater primarily agricultural wastewater that has nutrient pollution in it, which causes algal blooms and eutrophication. Uh, the second purpose is to recover the phosphorus that's absorbed in the biochar that they use in the system, and they can use it as a fertilizer. Biochar is a biomass charcoal, basically, that absorbs pollutants, and it is currently being manually dosed in the clean water machine, so our purpose is to make an automated system so that it's more efficient. So, in order for our project to work, the biochar has to be at a consistent particle size and condition. So to do that, what we've tried to do is we needed a mill to smush the biochar into a consistent powder, but an issue that we were running into with the powder is that it was clumping at all moisture content. And so our solution to that was to make a more aggressive grinder to go on top to deal with the chunks first and then make it possible for the more fine mill to make a better powder. So one of the essential criteria for our project was that it had to hold three days worth of biochar without being refilled. So that's why we have this gigantic tank up here. From there, it goes into the metering system and that will take care of dosing the biochar at the rate that matches the flow rate through the system. And from those, it will dump it to this mixed tank where we have some sprinklers that help wash it into the system. Um, and to suck it into the system, what we're using is a Venturi nozzle, which is right here. Um, that takes our mixture moves it into the system using just suction and pressure um, with water flow so that helps us not have to use a pump um, keeping again the biochar away from all of the moving pieces and components that it could abrade and wear down over time. For electrical components for this project we're powering the whole thing with an Arduino Mega 2560. We receive input from the current clean water machine using a 4 to 20 milliamp signal which we use to then determine flow rate and set our motors accordingly. Our final product is ready to be integrated into the clean water machine. This includes the storage hopper which holds three days worth of biochar, the grinders which have been calibrated for the correct mass flow, the metering mechanism which receives input from the clean water machine, and in experimentation we reach the correct accuracy that we need for dosing. Finally, the Venturi injector which brings the biochar to the rest of the clean water machine system. The completion of this system means that the clean water machine operator does not have to manually dose the biochar and instead has a more accurate and completely controlled and monitored system. A more efficient addition to the clean water machine means better results for future research. At this time, we would like to thank our sponsor, Dr. Gregory Moeller, and our client, Martin Baker, our lead instructor, Dev Shrestha, our graduate student mentor, Jacob Miller, and some special acknowledgements to Rodney Cook, Zachary Hacker, Tori Overholzer, Liam Knudsen, and Allie.